Uh, for top table press conference uh, on this uh, Sunday afternoon, we have assistant uh, Springbok coach Dion Davids and uh, Springbok player Peter Steff de Toy. They are here to answer your questions. Um, but now, um, those of you who are regulars on our virtual uh, press conference platform, uh, you know the drill. You uh, put up your hand. I will call out your name and uh, then uh, you can post your answer. Um, Sorry, is Mike. this sound going to bug you? Mike, uh, no, you, you, you're you sounding uh, clear. Um, if I can just ask everyone to switch off their mics and when, uh, when, when I call out your name, then you can obviously activate it so that you can ask the question. All clear? Okay. So in order, we will we will first go to the questions first uh, to Coach Dion, and then thereafter to Peter Steff. So um, let's start with uh, Craig Ray. Your first question. Good afternoon, Craig. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks, Rayon, Peter Steff, Dion. Um, Dion, if I could just uh, yeah move it away from the Georgia game a little bit. I'm sure you as coaches all watched the British and Irish Lions opening game last night. Could you could you give us your impressions? Did you see anything there that was surprising to you in the Lions' performance, the, the British and Irish Lions' performance that did? Um, good afternoon, Craig. No, um, at all. I think, um, first of all, congratulations for the Lions of starting their, their, their tour on such a high note. I think um, they've played some excellent rugby. Um, you could clearly see that um, test-level test rugby is it's, it's quite different in terms of of what we are used to when we play in our normal competitions, it's playing at a higher tempo. And obviously, you can also see the qualities of quality of the players um, within their team. But also, it's off to the Lions. It's a young side. Um, I think they've uh, the, uh, the Lions players have showed a lot of heart. Um, they stayed in there, they hang in there, and I think it's valuable experience that they've um, uh, for them in, in playing in, in such a a high tempo game against such quality players. But yeah, obviously we expect the Lions um, to produce um, a quality performance and, and overall I think they, they've done really well. Thank you. Thank you both. And uh, the next question goes to Stephen Petty. Hi Dion, just any update on any injuries in the squad after Friday and how are the boys feeling and any, any new faces that we might be able to see this coming week? As the head coach have said, um, obviously you have a, they have a plan of, of selecting the best possible players. Obviously, there are a few players with bum, bumps and bruises, but um, they are medical assist. And at this at this stage, um, uh, hopefully we will have a, a full contingency to, to select from. Um, and uh, yeah, within the, the next day or two, we will be we will be quite clear in terms of who's going to take the field on Saturday. But as I said, we will move as close as possible to the the best possible side and also look at maybe one or two um, players that we that we want to test in terms of combination or that we want to get game time or yeah uh, get some experience thank you coach dion and percival young you up next thank you so much i'm um, 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 coach dion davids um, 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 Peter um, um, Davids, can i give for us a brief Okay. Percy, can I interrupt you? Sorry, can we keep the Afrikaans for, for last so that we keep the flow the, the flow for the English and then Afrikaans at the end so that it's just uh, uh, easier for everyone? If, if, sorry for interrupting you. If you want okay, to sorry. ask in English up front, it's fine, but I'll give you a chance afterwards to, to, to post your question in Afrikaans. I'll wait for the Afrikaans session. Thank you, Percy. Always understanding. Appreciate it. Uh, Phyllis Sunday, good afternoon. Afternoon, Ryan. Afternoon, uh, Coach Dion, and of course, Peter Steff. Uh, Coach Dion, I just wanted to find out, um, were you guys happy with the level of intensity, of course, and uh, the level of physicality on, on Friday? Um, and some of the set pieces also. I mean, it's, you know, 20 months to, to come back and, 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 and play and try and put the, the foundations back together after 20 months must be quite difficult. So were you guys happy with um, how the set pieces went, and of course the level of physicality from from the forwards specifically. Um, it's a good question. Um, all I can say is, uh, obviously, first of all, we must understand that the guys are coming back from not having played a long time. I know it's, uh, we've said that before, 
And you could also see at the beginning, and I've, I've said that, that you must understand that test rugby, uh, the level of intensity and physicality is maybe just something that we, we had to get used to at the start. Um, um, and uh, you could see the longer the game went on, the better we got. Um, obviously, we also spoke about that uh, um, halftime. The players responded tremendously. They, they experience, they understand what it's about. Um, and and uh, But also, um, uh, we must take our heads off for Georgia with the, with the intent that, they, that they, uh, they brought to the game and also the challenge that they brought to our set pieces. But overall, if you, if you go look at the stats, I think in, from a, from a lineup perspective, we had a 94% winning uh, success. We scored two more tries. We couldn't score. We, we might have maybe scored more. Um, uh, we got, uh, the opposition conceded a lot of penalties in that area. Obviously, there's those there's things that we also can improve on that we've looked at that we want to apply in our in our second game. Um, from a scrum perspective, also I think uh, uh, the guys applied themselves. We only conceded one penalty, I think, and um, uh, we we had four or five penalties for us. Um, and uh, we we didn't start it. Maybe maybe slow out of the blocks at the start, but um, as the game went on, I think there was um, we got more into our stride and we became more physical and 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 we stuck to to the things that that the players knew they had to do in order to get better. So, yeah, um, it's our first outing. We're looking forward to our second outing. We have time now to, to, to rectify and look at those stuff. And, and I think as we go on uh, building towards the British and Irish Lions, I believe the players will get better. So, Ryan, just a quick follow-up, uh, Coach David. Um, it, it, do you guys now look for more um, against Georgia again on Friday? Do you say, listen, guys, of course, we've, we've been out for 20 months and we were happy with the level of intensity. Sorry, but sorry, I, I lost you there. If you can just come up with louder, please. Okay. Can you hear me now, Coach Dion? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Just as a follow-up, I wanted to find out, do you guys now ask for more of the players? Do you ask for more to say that, okay, on Friday in the first encounter, we were physical, but we can uh, you know, lift the, the, the intensity a little bit more in preparation, of course, going into that British and Irish line series? No, definitely, definitely. Um, the players themselves, I mean, uh, they look at themselves and say, that, listen, obviously as an individual, um, this is what I can do better. And from a team pers perspective, um, in terms of understanding what we want to do, maybe I've lacked that, that is what I need to work on. Um, we, this morning, we had a, we had a, a good talk about different, uh, about the different departments of the game and, and where, where we think we can improve. Um, and as I said, it's a process. Um, uh, um, so, so we use this opportunity to get better, and I, and I believe the players that will pitch um, on Friday night will, 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 will try to improve on that. Thank you, Coach D. And uh, Craig Ray, you have another question? Yes, thank you, Rayon. Um, Dion, just, um, just from a personal point of view, it was the first test match you've been involved with as a coach, uh, if, I, if I'm correct. How was the experience for you? Um, yeah, just sort of being involved in, especially in the dressing room with the world, world world champions it must have been quite a nice day for you low key but a good day yeah quite a journey to be honest it's a it's a, it's a humble experience uh, it's a, it um, i think it's only human that you're a bit nervous but um as as, as things happen you uh, together with that excitement you you start to enjoy it and i think uh, yeah just uh, embrace the whole uh, the whole night um, from from uh, the build up towards it and, and being there and experience that it's a, it was, it's a wonderful experience and uh, I'm just glad we we got a win uh, so I'm I'm sitting on 100 percent now and just looking forward going for <laughs> long may that continue okay okay uh, so we will have the time for one more English question to Dion and then um, we'll give Percy a, a chance to post his Afrikaans question mm. um, and, and then. And then we'll move on. Carl Fabian, you're up next. Coach, um, last night Cash said after the uh, loss against the British and Irish Lions that we <clears throat> do think that the other franchises can cup, uh, catch up on the pace at which the British and Irish Lions uh, played. Are your uh, feeling? Um, I think the, the, the other franchises will have now a, quite a good idea in terms of what, what, what is expected and what is what, and what is going to come their way. Um, I think, um, I believe we have the talent um, and uh, 
We have the talent in the franchises um, uh, to, to live up to that. We have the coaching personnel, and I think the, the coaches will take will take note of that, and they will prepare according to that. Um, and uh, maybe it will take some time to to get used to it, but I, I believe um, they will they will be competitive in the games against the British and Irish Lions um, when they play them. Thank you, Coach Dion. And uh, Percy, if you can hear me, if you can uh, be ready with your Afrikaans question, thank you. Bye, thank you, Ryan. Um, good morning, um, colleagues, friends. Um, 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 Ryan, before I ask my question, can I just ask, uh, ask something for you? Did you say Peter Steve de Toy is, is embargoed for Tuesday, sir? Yes, in the morning, that's right. Thank you so much, sir. Um, um, uh, after that, uh, David, um, very good, very good, Peter Steve de Toy. Can I get from Dion? Sê gewoon vir my, Rassi Rasmus, directeur van rugby en by SA Rugby, was baie duidelik dat jylle redelijk baie opendik is oor, oor, oor baie kwesties, wil ek geloof. Sê gewoon vir my, is jylle spelers wat die afgelopen week um, positief getoets is, is hulle steeds in isolatie, en vir hoe lang gaan die isolatie wees, en gaan hulle mondelijk in aanmerking kom vir die tweede toets ten georgie. En die tweede deel wat vir jy wil vraag is dat, um, net oor die speler wat langs die tand sit, die afgelopen naweek het hy weer tekens ge- ge- gewees van mondelijk, in my opinie, van die speler wat om die wereld rugby spelen van die jaar gemaakt het. Wat was jou opinie as die voos, as, as die hulpafrichter oor Pieter Stek de Toeis vertooning die afgelopen naweek? Ons begin toe die laaste en die eerste, ek denk Pieter Stek de Toeis dan weer is een kwaliteit speler. Um, ons moet ook hier die oog uit verloor, dat Pieter, hy het uh, geruime tyd nie gespeel nie, uh, maar uh, ons het ook hier die gekry dat, of ons het ook gesien toe hy terugkom, um, hy onmiddellik weer kon oorskakel en, en, en amper op diezelfde vlak speel as wat hy klaargemaak het. So, um, ek dink, uh, hy is een kwaliteit, a kwali- a speler van kwaliteit, hy het zaterdag, mis, um, as ons kijkt na vrijdag aan sy wedstrijd, hy sal sy kerseel daar op een beetje um, commentaar lewe, maar, maar soos jy nog aan die speler, dit vat jou tyd om net weer in die intensiteit gewoond te raak, um, maar hoe later, hoe kwader, en uh, um, ek wil hem liefst in my spanje as nie in my spanje, en uh, um, met die pro- uh, um, die bestrede wat ek voorle, um, gloe ek, hy sal nou hoor, had toe oorskakel en, en op sy beste wees, wanneer ons die Britties, Brits en Eastern News aanpak. En uh, dan het hebben van jou, jou eerste vraag oor die, oor die spelers, ek denk die, die medische departement het, het uh, tot in die stadium uh, met die feite die gegeen in termen van wale, uh, van wat die proces is wat gevol was by die, by die spelers wat positief getoet was. Of is hier, natuurlijk is daar processe van hulle was in isolatie, daar is een proces van hulle terug te bring, uh, sodra hy die, uh, die proces verstrek. Um, en ja, um, ek denk as hulle gereed is, sal hulle, sal hulle allemaal weeg word vir die, uh, vir die bestrijd wat voor hulle. Baie dankie, Dion. Um, Liesel Hendricks? Ok. Hallo, um, Ria. Yes, ek kan jy hoor. Um, Jy breek op. You, you are... Kan jy my nou hoor? Is jy nou fijn? Yes, ek kan. Yes. Ok, hallo coach Dion Hewitt en Pieter Efterhoed. Um, ek wil graag weet, in terme van RG Snijman, in terme van RG Snijman, ek hoor, hy gaat die drie toetse mis, kan jy vir my update gee hoor om en, en my hulle praat van sy gelees uh, ergens over val oor planting, en wil jy weet um, hoe ver sy op update oor hom? Ja, RG Stuyber is ook een oomlik uit die kamp uit, hy is um, uit die gang vir sy veel oorplant en operatie, hy gaat natuurlijk nog die re- rehabilitatie proces, um, so um, ons sal wacht vir die medische verslaan om te hoor van hoe lang sy vordering gaan plaas vind, in die stadium is daar een geringe kans dat hy wel gaan deelwees van uh, die, die groep vir die Britse en Ierse leeuws, maar soos hy herstel natuurlijk en ons informatie krijg, sal ons ons hier natuurlijk oorweeg vir die, vir die, vir die toetswedstrijde wat voorleg in die rugby kampioenskap in die einde van die jaar toe. Thank you very much, uh, Coach Dion. I think uh, for the benefit of uh, everyone, if you can just uh, briefly uh, give us a summary of, uh, of uh, your answer in English, please, relating to R.G. Sneijman. Yeah, R.G. Sneijman is currently out of, uh, out of this, the squad. He's not with us. He went for a skin graft operation. Um, obviously, we'll start the process of rehabilitation. Um, and um, as he recovers and we get medical update, um, he will return back into the squad. Um, at this stage, um, I think there's a small chance that he will be part of the, uh, the British and Irish Lions test series, but he will definitely return to the group um, for the 
a remainder of the year's test matches that lies ahead in the rugby championship and the end of the year tour. Thank you very much. Uh, that then concludes our first part of our press conference with assistant coach Dion Davids. Uh,